We're starting off this Sunday morning with some great temperatures out there. 50s and 60s. We're also enjoying another beautiful sunrise here in eastern Oklahoma. Take a look at that shot, our Midtown Cam. As we're seeing just a little bit of high cloudiness out there this morning. We're going to see mostly sunny skies around for today. A bit warmer today compared to yesterday. We had 87 on our Saturday today, up around 90 degrees here in the Tulsa area. And it looks like even warmer temperatures on the way for Labor Day and the upcoming work week. But boy, take that beautiful sunrise in this morning here in eastern Oklahoma. Storm Shield radar, it's nice and quiet. Not tracking any rainfall out there. Don't expect any rainfall around for today. Up to the north, though, we're seeing a cluster of showers, thunderstorms moving across northern Kansas. That's going to work its way towards the Kansas City area, but you notice it's already starting to weaken. And as it continues moving to the east, could see some showers make it into Kansas City over the next two or three hours, but that activity is going to stay well to the north of us for today. Something we'd like to have stay away from us as well would be the allergies. Take a look at the allergy report. Tree pollen, good news there. We're not seeing any of that being recorded, but you notice grasses are moderate. Weeds and mold, unfortunately, are high. The only good news in that is we're not seeing any ragweed in that weeds there, so definitely some good news, but we know over the next couple of weeks that ragweed is going to show up and the allergies are going to start to give you more and more problems as we move into the fall season. 66 degrees outside right now. It's a great start. Humidity level at 90%, but you notice that dew point still running in the lower 60s, so the humidity is not terribly high for this morning, but over the next 24 hours, we're going to see that number continue to climb into the mid and eventually the upper 60s as the humidity starts to return to eastern Oklahoma. So it's going to feel warmer and more humid, especially as we move on into Labor Day and for most of the upcoming work week. And it's all thanks to these south and southeast winds that's pushing that humidity towards eastern Oklahoma. Currently, it's southeast at 6 miles per hour. We're at 63 over in Sand Springs, 63 in Sepulpa, Jinx, Bixby, Broken Arrow at 63, 62 this morning, Catoosa and Claremore. The rest of eastern Oklahoma, most areas in the 60s, still a few spots in in the upper 50s. Right now, Okmulgee at 59 degrees, Tahlequah at 57, 59 in Grove, and 52 over in Fayetteville. So it is a nice, pleasant start here in eastern Oklahoma. You notice to the west, though, temperatures a little bit warmer as we're seeing only at 70 degrees right now out in Watonga. Temperatures right now compared to the same time yesterday morning still running anywhere from about 1 to as much as 8 degrees warmer here in northeast Oklahoma, 6 degrees warmer this morning in Coffeeville, and you know it's just slightly warmer than our Saturday morning readings in southeast Oklahoma. And for tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures running anywhere from about 4 to 7 degrees warmer than what we're seeing right now. So you can tell warmer conditions are building back into eastern Oklahoma here over the next couple of days. 52 in Fayetteville, 62 though in Joplin, also in Coffeeville, 67 in Wichita. And you notice most temperatures out to our west in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So as we move on into our Monday morning, we're going to see temperatures in our area, generally upper 60s and lower 70s. So we will see warmer mornings moving on in starting tomorrow. On future track, the good news, we're going to see more sunshine around for today. A little bit of additional cloudiness western half of the state, but eastern Oklahoma and southeast Kansas looking pretty good. Mostly sunny skies around for today. No rainfall here in eastern Oklahoma as we're going to see temperatures climb into the upper 80s to around 90 degrees. Clear skies this evening and overnight. We'll see a south wind continue relatively light, about 10 to 15 with some gusts higher than that today. South at 5 to 10 as we move through the overnight. So another good night tonight, but we'll see temperatures a little bit warmer as we start our Labor Day for tomorrow morning. Here's a look at highs today. 87 in Grove, 87 in Tahlequah, 88 in Pryor, 89 in Muskogee, 90 degrees in McAllister, and 89 from Ponca City, Stillwater, and Oklahoma City. South winds again, 10 to 15, some gusts up around 20, so a little breezier today compared to what we've seen. Then for tonight, as that humidity starts to increase, overnight lows only going to drop into the upper 60s to low 70s. Only 71 the low tonight here in Tulsa, also in McAllister. 72 the overnight low in Oklahoma City. The coolest weather over in the Ozarks tonight, 62 in Fayetteville. So after hitting 89, mostly sunny today, only down to 71 for tonight. 93 tomorrow with a breezy south wind. So we'll see temperatures back in the 90s starting tomorrow. And it looks like 90s are going to stay with us all the way through Thursday. But as we move toward the end of the week, we're going to start to track a cold front that will move in early on Saturday in advance of it. Chance of showers and storms Thursday and Friday. And then finally, cooler weather back in the picture. Will as we move on into next weekend. But the next four or five days, looking warm. Those heat, those hotter temperatures are coming back. But this weekend has been so nice. Pretty much the picture perfect Labor Day weekend. Yeah, lower humidities and no rainfall. A lot of folks want to get outside and enjoy summer one last time. It's been a nice weekend for that. All right, thank you, Taft. Tropical